эти ящики в кладовку. Давай, 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 давай. That's Russian. Must be Bianco space. Fox is probably off the plane already. Gotta be quick. But it won't be as easy getting off this plane as it was getting on. Hello 47, Diana here. There's an extraordinary coincidence taking place in Siberia. Two high-profile targets will be meeting each other for the first time. Our client wants you on the job. It's a golden opportunity to get to both men, making it a high-risk, high-reward operation. There's no margin of error on this one, and our client is not accustomed to disappointment. Your code name on this operation is Mr. Bird. Our man on the base will answer to the code name Yurishka. This might look like a straightforward mission, but be careful, 47. You don't want any extra trouble in that environment. Hey everybody, Wazaria, we're back. And we need to leg it because we are not supposed to be in this Arctic base. And as you've just seen, Fabian Fox, which is a hilarious name, <laughs> Fabian Fox, um, you may know her name if you play Conan 47. Um, if you're a fan of Hitman, you'll know who the Fox brothers are. <laughs> and um, he's going to be doing a dodgy trade with Biakov, but first, you need a disguise. And um, you may not be happy with one of them, but uh, we need to actually kill this guy, so I'll sneak up behind him with a fiber wire and we'll. Break your neck! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awful animation. But um, the reason I did that is because uh, we could sedate someone, but we'd have to do the whole mission extremely fast and it would not be fun. The only way I know how to, you know, take time with this mission, like I like to play these games and take time with them, and the only way I know how to do that is by killing this guy, and that's what we're going to do. And um, it is possible to get Silent Assassin on this mission, but, you know, be a lot of running about. It would not be fun for, um, for content. And uh, I'm going to drag him in this room right here because I'm not actually sure if he can be seen through that window or not and I don't want to risk it. And I've always put him in this room so that's what I'm going to do right now. And we now have this Russian disguise drop that gun right there and let's get the heck out of here. The only other person is, um, yeah the only other person down here is that person right there, so that Eskimo down there working on that pipe. And uh, he shouldn't blow a cover at all as long as we, you know, do something crazy like whip out a gun. And uh, well even then. We're allowed guns because we're a Russian soldier now, actually, so I take that back. And then we're going to have a, st a steady stroll through the Arctic snow. And we're going to go ahead and uh, meet up with Mr. Fox. And, um, yeah, obviously you've seen the, uh, the briefing from Diana. We need to take care of Fabian. And what we're going to do with Fabian is actually going to be really fun. And I'll show you what we're going to do with him in just a moment. And I think you're going to give a kick out of what we'll do here. But, um, just, you know, we don't want to draw any suspicion. just want to take it nice and steady. Uh, we should be all right, to be honest, but, you know, I like to play it steady. And um, it's a really beautiful mission. It's a really large mission as well. It, the, this map is probably the first map where you're just like, wow, sort of thing. You know, it's huge. Um, it throws you in the deep end. You're not quite sure what exactly you need to do. But um, I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to help you guys. So let's go through... Um, yeah, let's go through this door and meet up with Yurishka. Okay, I'm back, guys. The damn game crashed, I kid you not, but it's fine, we're back. And, um, you see this Lexative right here? Well, we're actually going to take that, and we're going to use that on something in a moment. But first, let's go and have a chat with Yurishka. Oh, here is Yurishka. I'm looking for Yurishka. Welcome to Kamchatka, Mr. Bird. What can you tell me? I can tell you. I never want to see another part of Bosch as long as I live. I can also tell you they're using a submariner's lap. I'm not interested in Bosch. Any idea how I can destroy the lab? Dynamite. There is some on board. They use it for the dirty bombs. You need a radiation suit to be on the submarine. You might find a suit in the warehouse northwest of the submarine. It's a big submarine. 
How much dynamite am I going to need to sink it? Not much. I found three weak spots on the outside hole. One bomb in each spot, detonated at the same time, should crack the hole open and explode some of the ammunition still stored in the sub. It should sink like a stone. Thanks. Good luck. And I always love that he's like, I could tell you I never want to see another part of Bosch again. I can also tell you he's in Submarine as a lab. <laughs> it's, always, it's always funny to me that bit. And as you can see, we're um, putting the laxative in the Bosch right now. And um, yeah, the, the uh, sinister music starts playing. And that's because the game knows we're going to do something sinister. So, um, oh, there's Fabian right there. Fabian. The second we put that laxative in there, Fabian's cue to go and give us an evil look, apparently. But now he's, he's uh, cued to go up there and um, demand soup. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out and wait in the bathroom for him. Because like I said, we just put laxative in his drink. And you can only imagine what putting laxative in a man's drink is going to do to him. So what I'm going to do is, uh, it's, it's going to take a while, so I don't want to keep you waiting this whole time. It's going to take a while for him to actually, you know, go sit down, eat the food, you know, need to use the bathroom, make his way to the bathroom. It takes a while. So what I'll do is I'll speed this bit up to you and I'll get back, well, I'll get back to you when we're going to take out Fabian. Okay, it looks like he's uh, heading to the bathroom right now because it's on my map. So uh, let's go ahead and make a save. Okay, I've done that. And now we can prepare to take out Fabian Fox. Here he is. Come here, Fabian. Oh, damn, I think I've left it too late. God damn it. Yeah, no, I'm not happy with that kill. I'm not happy with that. Let's, let's load that back up. Here he is, burping, barfing. And now choking! <laughs> <laughs> and just like that we take care of fabian fox and uh, what we want to do is take his clothes but i want to actually hide his body behind that store because i don't want it when i open the door for his guard to be able to see his body out in the open so let's go ahead and uh, make sure that's hidden behind the store um i think that'll do yeah I think I'll do nicely, and I just picked his pistol, but I don't want that. Still got a laxative. <laughs> Ooh. They'd never know the wiser, would be. Let's go ahead and make another save, definitely. Наконец-то! Commander Bjarkov is ready to meet you at the ship. Follow me, Mr. Fox. Thank you, soldier. Now, I'm not sure how just putting these clothes on uh, masks our voice. Although, Agent 47 does have sort of a British accent going on, and Fox is British. I'm not convinced. Yeah, it's a game, of course. But it's fun, and that's, that's, that's what gives the game the charm, you know. I'm definitely not complaining there. And, you know, people do complain about the Hitman series, you know. Oh, why? How can he disguise in all these different clothes? You know, wouldn't he be too big, too small, whatever? And um, I just... You know, there's no need to think about it that much, you know. If you think that too hard into any game, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna lose its fun. And I think that's what makes Hitman such a great game, you know. There's a hint of realism to it, but it's this dark comedy undertone. And uh, it, it's a video game, and it knows it's a video game. It's always been self-aware, and I think that's what gives Hitman its charm. But we're just gonna follow this uh, soldier, uh, this, sol this soldier, sorry, through the cold Arctic snow. And um, you don't actually have to follow him the way I am, you know. I'm pretty sure he won't freak out if you run. But it's, you know, it's it's fun to just walk along and uh, just just take the mission in, you know. Just just really take time with the mission. It gives us that sense of, you know, being an assassin, you know. A dark, sinister tone where you know that you're not who you're claiming to be. You know that you've got a dark mission in mind. But nobody knows any different. And, you know, Hitman is literally a chameleon. And he blends into every situation, and people don't know any different. So we'll make our way onto this uh, this track right now. So be careful, he's gonna get suspicious when I walk past, definitely. Yep. <laughs> but it's fine, that doesn't mean anything. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get onto these train tracks. 
Bye. Choo choo. So yeah, we're gonna let these train tracks take us all the way, or the mine tracks, I should say, take us all the way through this cave and out onto the other side. And as Agent 47 T bags the minecart, we prepare ourselves to go and take out our next target, the Arkov. And you see here, look, there's a, uh, there's just so many places where you could hide bodies. They really think ahead, you know, and um, why would you kill a person here? Well, why would you? But the point is, if you want to, you can, and you could totally hide a body right there. And there's places all across every map, so many places where you could hide bodies. Yeah, even in these older games. But uh, we're coming to the end of this, uh, this little ride we've been on. We're about to see the light any second now. Just as we turn this next corner, I believe it is. And by the way, one thing I just want to note real fast is how every mission is so drastically different. You don't really get bored in these games. You know, we go from the, the asylum in the first mission to the weird slaughterhouse to this Arctic military base. I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but later on in the game we go to different places. And every single place, uh, every single location really, really stands out, especially in this game. And you can see we come to the end of a track right here. And uh, be careful, because for some reason this guard right here can actually uh, blow your cover. I don't know why, but he's so paranoid. Uh, he's not he's not falling for any tricks, so I don't want to get too close to this guy. And uh, we should be good now. Yes. Yes, we're good. So, um, you know, we can run around now. People aren't really going to see us or get suspicious of us, I should say. You know, I just like to slow down when I get close to them. And we will have a frisk at the top. Well, that's fine because we dropped all of our weapons remember earlier and that's it we're going to be meeting up they think we're Fabian Fox and they think we're here to meet up with Biakov and we are but not for the same reason that they think we are oh no Naconetsta. go right in Mr. Fox commander is expecting you thanks soldier second door on right and at least somebody in this game has manners for once. Usually it's stupid English, stupid English, all that stuff. Yes, um, we're definitely going to be using Fiberwire to kill him with. And Fiberwire is definitely my favourite way to kill people in the Hitman series. You know, sometimes it's fun to do different things and I will do different things. But definitely Fiberwire is usually the way to go. And this is where we're going to get frisked right now. So let's just uh, not draw suspicion. Stand the procedure, sir. Stand still. I understand. And because we have nothing on us, uh, we, we're going to be fine. Yep, there we go. So, um, we're about to take care of Biakov. And uh, let's just be quiet and see what happens. But first, let's make a save, actually. So good to meet you at last, Fabian. I prefer doing business face to face. We shall have some vodka. None for me, thanks. No? Hmm. Very well, Fabian. You better go ahead and pour a strong vodka, sunshine. Cause this is gonna hurt. And just like that, Biyakov is taken care of. And uh, I might take a sip of that vodka for myself. <laughs> okay. Now we actually just want to leave the same way as we came in. Well, that's not true. We're not going out of the balcony way, but the same door, I should say. Which is this one right here. And we can now think about... Can now think about blowing this submarine up, eh? So yeah, they don't think anything the wiser. And that's what I'm talking about. That's the feeling from it, man. We have just taken out this Russian bombs dealer. They don't know any of the wiser. 
they think that we they think what we are Fabian Fox and they think that we have just gone in for a meeting. Little do they know we've just strangled him. Now if we're paying attention to what Yurishka said earlier, he told us that we can find a sort of like a you know a, a biohazard suit, that kind of thing. Um in one of these cabins at the back. And if we go into the submarine without wearing this outfit, we will start to take radiation damage. And, uh, you know, if we're in there too long, we'll die. And we don't want that to happen. And uh, luckily, it's rather easy to get it. Um, yeah. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Shouldn't have too much difficulty. Uh, sometimes gods can get upset uh, when you're exiting, but I've not had it personally. I've seen people on YouTube have this issue. I've not had this issue, but... Yeah, we should be fine, honestly. Let's just go ahead and do it. Usually, uh, or sometimes there's a guard right here. But it looks like he's probably inside. There he is. Well, not a guard, but the Eskimo, I should say. Uh, let's just let him come outside. Let's not take any risks. Yeah, we're good. I mean, he's getting us that look, but he doesn't care. Now that we're suited up, uh, we can go ahead and... Yeah, exit the submarine. But uh, before we exit that submarine, I'm going to make a save in a moment. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make a save right now, in fact. Okay, now time for a fun part of the mission. So, as I said, we're going to blow up the submarine. And to do that, well, we need to enter the submarine and find the bombs. Remember, we were told that there was a few bombs in here which would be enough to, to blow the submarine up, he said. It wouldn't take too many. We're going to go ahead and find those bombs. And uh, let's just walk in on it, like... Get all suspicious, or get those all suspicious, sorry. And look at them. I don't think any different. Although they are giving me that look. That's just the way the AI are. So, uh, yeah, we'll exit. We'll enter this submarine, sorry, right now. And it's, uh, it's a really cool design in here, actually. It says beware of nuclear radiation, but we don't need to worry about that. Because we're wearing the suit. Now it can, uh, the first time I seen that actually, like, I thought they'd found a body or something, but nope, nope. It's just telling us that. And if we weren't wearing this suit, we would be taking damage right now. But uh, as you can see, here are the bombs on this little square table thing. This box, I should say. Need to take uh, all three of those. Because that's something it'll take to blow up the submarine. And finding the uh, spots to put the bombs is actually a little bit weird. It doesn't really tell you, you just have to kind of figure it out. But it's not too difficult at all. In fact, it, I say it's, it's a little bit obvious just because the way the, uh, the ice moves in towards it, you can tell where you put it. And uh, yeah, it's really cool in here. I really like the lighting, the green sort of tint to it. Definitely looks uh, like somewhere you don't really want to be. And I just want to make sure that this guard's not patrolling about because I don't want to really get too close to him if I can help it. But I don't see him. I think we're good, yeah, I think we're good. Let's make our way to the slide right now. And, oh, okay, he's right there. Ah, he's coming, so let's go back and uh, we'll just wait for him to pass, no biggie at all, and um, yeah, I'll probably make a save. Why not? Okay, and he should be passing any minute now. Oh, there he is, look. As soon as he's passed, we'll just, uh, we'll make our way down there and we're gonna go down these ladders. Yep, we're good now. We can run now because no one's going to see us. And uh, this is the ice I was talking about. And you'll sort of see... I'll show you in a moment. You'll sort of see... You see how it like curves in? Well, there's actually a first place to plant it. So, yeah, you get that sort of... It's kind of obvious there. So there's one out of three. The second one's just around the corner. And that's the, uh, that's the summary we was just on. Or the ship was just on, sorry. It's uh, on this one actually here. Somewhere. There we are. No? Come on. There we go. And then our last one, I'm pretty sure you can see where our last one is. Okay, that's all three. And uh, we can get out of here now. And when we're ready, we can detonate this place. And blow it up and it's going to be a really cool cutscene. I'm actually excited for this. And this is definitely like the most fun part of the mission doing this, you know. And uh, yeah, you can just see how big this map is. It's absolutely amazing. Especially for the time, you know. And they did not have long to make this game either. 
I want to say it was eight months. I could be wrong, but I want to say it's eight months, but I don't exactly remember off the top of my head. Oh, okay, okay, steady, Eddie. So now I do want to just, um, I want to make my way back to the uh, cabin where we just were. Uh, just walk past these guards. Yeah, they're fine with us, look. I'm going to make my way back to that cabin just over there, past the ice lake. Which, by the way, is not something I'd want to do. Imagine running on an ice lake. I feel like you're either going to slip or fall through the ice and... Uh, yeah, it don't seem fun to me, but Agent 47 is a badass and he doesn't care, so he's just going to run across this ice lake like it's absolutely nothing. And I mean, it's holding the weight of that submarine back there, so I guess it's fine. It's whatever. I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> I was not looking, man. So yeah, let's go ahead, go back in here, and we're going to have a change of clothes again. Uh, yeah, this girl's not going to care. I don't know why I'm even bothering. And oh, we're magically Fabian Fox again. So yeah, here's where the fun bit comes in. And <laughs> I do mean that, this is really where the fun bit comes in. And we're going to make a save. But, uh... Okay, before we make the save, I want to explain something. There's a the three guards we walked past. One was patrolling, and then there was the two guards we had to, you know, walk past them all. And, uh... When we blow up the submarine, it's going to kill everybody. Now, there's another patrolling guard who's actually going to find those bodies. So what we need to do is we need to wait for that guard to walk up to them, and that's when we need to blow the submarine up. Otherwise, he's going to find, you know, the bodies. Any more than one body found, you know, we don't get Silent Assassin. And that's going to be like three bodies he's going to find, so we'll not get Silent Assassin. So we're going to make sure to time it. As he's walking up, we're going to blow it up, and we're going to kill everybody. And uh, if all done right, we should be good. It's a little bit hard to see, but I think... Yeah, he's there right now, so let's pull that down now, and let's just do that. And I believe we did it. Yeah, 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 I think we did it, so... um, Yeah, let's just get the hell out of here. And I love how these guards haven't even got a clue what just happened. That's just funny, like, this whole explosion just happened. And uh, I ain't got a clue how they haven't got a clue what's just happened. That's quite amazing, isn't it? But let's get the hell out of here. Same way we came in through the minecart. And uh, let's get out of this Arctic base. And uh, I do, I love that cutscene so much. I look forward to it every single time I play this uh, this mission. And even when every time I play that game, I look forward to that one cutscene right there. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun one. It's a really good mission, this one. I like how big it is. And um, yeah, you can always have fun in this one. And, uh, yeah, these guards not got a clue what's just happened. No, again, be careful of this guard right here. It can be a little bit dodgy, but, um, yeah, we should be fine. And, uh, yeah, we're not catching my minecart this time. We're just going to run. And I actually think it's faster running, in fact. In fact, it definitely is. So we're just going to run the same way we came in. Get to the other side of here. And, uh, yeah, it's quite, um, it's quite a grand mission, this one. It's very, uh, it's like spectacle, isn't it, with the explosion. You know, not all missions are like that. Some missions is just go in and kill people. And uh, I do like those missions. Quite often, they're my favourite ones. But this one, uh, I feel like they do it just right. You know, it's not too crazy. But you definitely get that James Bond feel. Like, this game could totally be in a 007 video game on the PS2 or something. And you wouldn't think any of it different. And uh, just make sure that these don't, you know, think why I'm running. But no, I think we're good. We're good. So we're going to get back on this aeroplane. And... Um, We'll just wait for this guard to uh, go away and we'll, uh, we'll get the heck out of here. Uh, I don't think that guard's going to say anything at all in fact, but... I just want to be on the safe side, you know, I don't want to mess up right now at the end of a mission. That, that would be awful. So just wait for him to turn around and... Uh, yeah, there we go, we should be good. So get me airplane now. And uh, this is how you finish off a mission by getting back on this, uh, on this airplane, sorry. And we can get the heck out of this Arctic base and close off this mission. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Silent Assassin. Let's have a look at that. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, perfect. We did have to kill one person, obviously, to get that disguise at the beginning. And, uh, but aside from that, yeah, pretty good game. Silent Assassin, thank you for watching this one, guys, and I'll see you in the next mission.